Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Technique Tuesday. Last week uh, I spoke in depth on the importance of uh, time of attention, the, the, the cadence or the speed of a rep, and also the range of motion of, of a rep, and how by manipulating those three variables, you can wring far more life out of whatever exercise you, you happen to be doing. So this week I wanted to delve a little bit further into other uses for, in particular, rep speed, and how you can use rep speed as a type of auto-regulation measure to determine when you should stop a set of, of exercise, regardless of what's written on the whiteboard, okay? Um, as a trainer of predominantly over 40 year olds, I, being over 40 myself, just turned 47, I've come to realize the importance of this theme of training for tomorrow, leaving, not, not crawling out of the gym, leaving something in the tank. So with the idea that you wanna be able to come back to the gym again tomorrow, and put in another good effort. Another way to look at that would be to also to be look, well, hopefully this gym is not your life. Uh, I know it's certainly not mine. I certainly think it's something that enhances my life, but it is not my life. So you wanna look at, okay, well, what else do I have to do today? Do I have a horrible long day at work to get through? Do I wanna be able to get home at the end of that day of work and, and muck around with my kids or take my dog for a walk? So training for tomorrow also comes very much with that mindset that if I destroy myself here, well then I will not be able to do these other things that I really want to do with my life. So bringing that back to this theme of using rep speed as an auto regulator to allow you to train for tomorrow is where I want to talk about today. So when you start doing any exercise, and again, regardless of what's written on the board as far as reps are concerned, you're going to start um, fresh and you're going to be able to maintain a certain speed of repetition okay so what I encourage people to do uh, is to tune into that speed it's going to be the optimal most powerful speed that you can that you can use and then when you are uh, working your way through a set if you feel like you run into a repetition where that rep speed slows down significantly and you recognize that what you want to then, then try to do is dial up your intensity, your intention, to see if you can bring that speed back up to what it was prior to that slightly slower rep. And if you cannot, what you want to think about doing right then is terminating the set where it stood. So if you were trying to get 15 reps, but that means you had to stop at 12, that's fine. It's the nervous system letting you know that it's starting to max out, okay? And then you would go to your, take your rep required rest, and then by all means, con continue the workout. And if you're, if you're getting back to that, that speed, that's, that's fine. But if you find that that next set is almost immediately burning out and going at a slower speed, it might be a very good time to pack it up for the day, to train for tomorrow, realize that today's practice session's over and you're gonna leave something in the tank so you can go and work, you can enjoy your children or whatever else you're gonna do for, for the rest of that day. So to put this into a tangible example, if I do a set of push-ups, and I'll, I'm not going to, I won't max myself out here because obviously I can do so many push-ups, you'd be bored uh, by the time you'd finish watching this video. But just, <laughs> I can't. Uh, but I'll give you a good indication of what I'm talking about here. So I start on my push-ups and I'm moving at this pace. Okay, but sooner or later I might find a rep that this happens. And if I recognize that and can then, okay, now I can still move it for a couple more reps, great. But if I do one rep like this and then I try to dial up and the next one <clears throat> turns into something like that, even if I've got five more reps to do on that particular set, a really good plan of attack would be to stop. Make a note in your training log. I managed X amount of reps out of Y amount of reps. Continue your workout, assuming that you can still maintain high quality of reps. Um, and then next workout, you've given yourself a little benchmark of, okay, well, last time I managed this, 
So this time I'm going to see if I can match that or make a small improvement on that. But it takes away this onus, this idea that you have to, you have to finish what's on the board. No, you don't. Uh, quality should always trump quantity. And uh, in doing so, particularly for us people in our 40s, 50s and onward, it's really important just for our overall nervous system health so we're not beating ourselves up and ending up with an injury, feeling washed out or getting sick. So that is a really simple way that you can use rep speed to auto-regulate the intensity of your workouts from a micro level of completing a set or not, or to whether you complete a full workout. And uh, it will serve you well if you use it. So that is my Technique Tuesday tip today. Hope you found it useful. As always, if you did, please let me know by clicking like. If you think anyone else you know would benefit from this uh, tip, please copy, I mean, share it with them. Um, I appreciate it when you do. I'll be back next week. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.